Graduating high school is something to celebrate, especially if you thought you'd never get there. And one local grad who was stuck in a civil war just a few years ago now has her diploma, and we have her story. I would assume supporter Walt Buto with the details on what it took for this senior to get a cap and gown in this week's street story. We all take history. We found a student who survived it. Volleyball takes Nidon back in time oh! to her middle school. That's a world away from Mount Pleasant High. You played on a team? Yeah. As Christians in Civil War torn Burma, <laughs> Nidon's family was targeted. That's difficult. And persecuted. Before she made it out of high school, there was no choice but to leave the country. She remembers being stuffed with dozens of refugees in small boats and sweltering vans, thinking her life would end at 14 years old. Because we cannot breathe. You couldn't breathe? Mm -mm. And me and my, and my sister and my brother, we almost died, stopping off food. And I thought that I could not meet my parents again. Ni was separated from her parents for weeks, but she'll never forget the day when they found each other. And I was so happy. <laughs> it was four more years of living in refugee camps before she made it to America. Hi, Mark. The first barrier was learning English. I was crying because I didn't know anything. <laughs> By the time she got to Mount Pleasant High School, she was too old to play on the volleyball team. But she worked hard in class and credits her teachers and counselors with helping her become a straight A student while also earning a full scholarship to Rhode Island College. Did you think you'd ever graduate high school and go to college? Oh, no, never, never, ever. <laughs> Thank you, Good I'll luck see next you tomorrow. Year. She hopes to become a nurse and someday return to Burma even though the never-ending civil war continues. I don't hate them. I forgive them, even though they, they hate us and like... You want to go back to help? Yeah, help. Not afraid to go back to Burma, and in fact, after what she survived, it seems she's not afraid of anything. On Mount Pleasant Avenue in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.